Hello my friends, it is James and welcome to another update video. This week I decided I was going to train my hunter up because like I said in the previous video, I'm going to start working towards 70 plus stats. So the first stat I decided to train was hunter, which was my lowest stat at level 40. So that's why I decided to train that because it, you know, would boost my total level. And hunter's pretty fast to train, so it was a good boost for my uh, total level. I ended up training at Desert Lizards, or not Desert Lizards, I trained at the uh, Swamp Lizards from 40 to 47, I believe it is, and then from there I moved on to the Desert Lizards, which I then did that until about 53, when I decided to take a break and go do uh, some other stuff. So after I got uh, the 53 Hunter, the uh, Grand, Exchange actually, Grand Exchange actually ended up coming out a day later, which as you guys know, was on Thursday or whatever. And I went and did pretty much what everyone else did and sold all the useless junk items that I had been hoarding. And I was expecting to, you know, maybe get like 3 or 4 mil out of it. And it turns out I actually had 14 mil worth of junk items in my bank, which I was absolutely ecstatic about. Because that's another 10 mil that I didn't even think I would get. So um, I sold a bunch of random shit that I had in my bank. And I ended up getting my cash pile up to 25 mil. Which is, you know, I'm more than happy with that, obviously. And so with the Grand Exchange just coming out and being new and exciting and da 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 da, I decided that what I wanted to probably do was I was going to train fletching for a little bit while the Grand Exchange is still fresh and the prices are out of whack. Because, you know, you can probably do some pretty decent flipping with the prices out of whack the way they are. So I decided I'm going to train a little bit of fletching because I can wait at the bank or the Grand Exchange and just train fletching while I wait for items to buy and sell and stuff like that. So I'm currently training fletching while flipping. So that's pretty, you know, like I'm making money while I'm getting my stats up because fletching is a bank skill. So therefore, you know, you're going to be training it anyways. You're not doing anything with your money and you're standing at a bank. So you might as well just be at the Grand Exchange and just flip items and stuff like that. So that's awesome in itself. And, you know, you're just using your money to make more money for you. So that's pretty cool. I also decided I needed to start getting back into farming because I'm only level 55 and obviously eventually I'm going to have to get it up to 70 like I've said because I want to get them all 70 plus. So what I've decided to do is start doing herb and uh, watermelon runs. So pretty much every time I do an herb run I'm also going to plant the two things of watermelons because surprisingly enough it's actually really good cheap XP and you're I'm not sure I'm pretty sure you lose money. Uh, by planting watermelons but I don't think it's very much and you profit from your herbs so altogether you know it obviously you do net a profit obviously it's not as much profit if you only did herbs but you get the extra XP which is really good and so um I've decided like I said I've decided to start farming and doing all that and then um as far as my fletching level went like I said I ended up getting my fletching level up to level 56 I believe this week so that's pretty solid I've still obviously got a ways to go until 70 but you know it is what it is I've still got quite a bit of stats that I need to get up to 70 um listing them off all you know I've got rune crafting which is 56 I've got construction which is only 50 I've got agility which is 61 herb lore which is 61 crafting which is 61 fletching which is like I said 56 Hunter, which is only 53, farming, woodcutting, and fire making, and smithing and mining. So, I've still got quite a bit to go, but, um, like I said, I'm going to take it, you know, one skill at a time, like, one, like, set of levels at a time. So, I'm going to try to get everything to 60 first, I'm going to try to get everything to 65, then 70, but I think for the next week, what I'm going to try and do, I think I'm going to try and, uh, get a quest cape, like I said. I don't have very many, or like I said before I ended up quitting, uh, I don't have very many quests left. I still have quite a bit, but it's not a lot because I did I did quite a bit of quests getting my um, my bear's gloves for my Zerker when I, when I was a Zerker. And so I don't have very many left, and I've also got the most annoying quest out of the way, which is Morning's End Part 2. So I think the only other really annoying quest I have is one of the, uh, the Dark Mayor or whatever it is quest i think that's really the only like annoyingly difficult one that i have left so it shouldn't be too difficult so i'm not sure if in a week's time i will get the quest cape but that is my goal for next week and i'm going to work at that and hopefully i can get that so that's pretty much all the progress i've made for this week unfortunately it's not too much 
But uh, like I said, I wasn't going to start really trying to play very much until the Grand Exchange came out, and it came out midway through this week, so obviously I didn't play too much. So hopefully from this video on, I'll be able to, you know, produce some longer videos with more, you know, content and all that good stuff in it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope I will see you in the next one.